Good morning, class. Good morning. Today we are going to be continuing our time lesson from yesterday. So we are going to begin with a Kahoot. Okay, so I'm going to need to pull, have you pull your technological devices out. I will pull up our Kahoot. Our game pin is 9281121. Perfect. Let's get started. Question number one, how many minutes are in one hour? Job. Question two, another way to say 30 minutes past the hour is what? Good job. Question three, a clock that has an hour hand, minute hand, and a face is called a what clock? Question four, how many minutes are in half an hour? Very nice. Question five, the time is quarter to nine. How many minutes past eight o'clock is it? Question six, a clock that displays the time is called a what clock? Fantastic. Now that we've completed our Kahoot, we are going to, I'm going to introduce the I can statements of today. So I want you to repeat after me. I can tell time using a digital clock to the nearest five minutes. I can tell time using a digital clock to the nearest five minutes. Good. I can write time using a digital clock to the nearest five minutes. I can write time using a digital clock to the nearest five minutes. Good. I can tell time using an analog clock to the nearest five minutes. I can tell time using an analog clock to the nearest five minutes. And I can write time using an analog clock to the nearest five minutes. I can write time using an analog clock to the nearest five minutes. Very nice. Okay, now that we've reviewed the terms and know what the goals are for today, we are going to transition into our activity. So I'm going to have three problems. I'm gonna display them up on the Elmo and we are going to work on them together. The first problem is going to be writing the time from an analog clock to a digital clock. The next problem is going to be drawing the hands on the analog clock to match the digital clock's time. And the last problem is taking a time written problem, for example, 2.30 written out, and drawing the hands on a clock to match. Okay, so our first problem that we're going to work on is the writing time from an analog clock to a digital. So I have the problem projected up onto the Elmo and onto the smart board. What time do you think this analog clock reads? And use your resources. Remember the, the small hand is the hour hand and the big hand, the longer hand, is the minute hand. Um... Would it be um, seven, 748? Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's 748? So the, the hour hand is a little before the eight, which, which means... would make it seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
for the minute hand, it's above the nine, and the nine means 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So how many notches above the nine is it? Three. Three, which makes it what time? 48. 748. Very good job. Very nice. Okay, so our next problem we have is a digital clock that reads, what do you think it reads? 512. 512. Okay, and our job is to place the hour hand and the minute hand where they belong on the analog clock. Okay, the the hour hand mm -hmm. would be two notches above the two, and the minute hand would be just above the five. Okay, now you said the hour hand would be two notches above the two. If we're going by the hour, and the hour hand is in between the one and the two, what hour would that be? I think, I think that would be, that would, um, I think I'm wrong. Where do you think you could fix this time problem? Do you think you maybe got the hour and minute hand confused? I, I think so. Okay, let's try it again. Why don't we start with the minutes? Where is 12 minutes on the clock? And which hand are we working with? 12 minutes is the longer one. Mm -hmm. And one means five minutes, mm -hmm. two means 10 minutes. So two notches above would be 12 two minutes. minutes. Two notches below the two or two notches above the two? Above. Below. Above. Two notches past the two or two notches before the two? Has the two. Has the two. That's what we have the longer one as, right? Right. Okay. Now that we have the minute one figured out, where do you think the hour hand stands at? We're in 512. Just above, just past the five. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's the shorter one. That's the shorter one, correct. Very, very good job. Okay, now we have one last problem. This is gonna be the trickiest one. We are given the time written out as a word. So it says half past nine, okay? Half past nine means what? Half past means 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And past nine means 9.30. Okay, so where are our and our minute hands placed on this clock? Minute hand would be pointed at the six. And that's our longer or shorter? Longer. Okay. And now our hour hand? Nine o'clock. So it would be halfway between the nine and 10. And this is our what one? Shorter. Shorter. Very good job. Okay, now that we've completed all three, I am going to give you a very short quiz on Google Forms. So I'm gonna have you Pull up your phone, okay? It was sent to you prior to class. And there's three short questions, just like the ones that we did in class. And I'm gonna have you fill that out, okay? 
Other than that, very good job on the lesson today, and we will come back to our telling time tomorrow.